Eugene O'Neill is the masterpiece. He is the father of American drama. Though they are our other uh, superiors also, but Eugene O'Neill is a great dramatist. He is basically the Shakespeare of America as far as American drama is concerned. And yes, he was a Nobel laureate as well as four times Pulitzer Prize winner. And Eugene O'Neill's plays gives us. A expression to the fragile character of human existence. He has studied so many dramatists, and he was also very much influenced by them. Usne kahin pe apne ko express kiya hai kuch shabdon mein aur likha hai. I read about everything I could lay hands on. Hamne sab kuch pada hai jahan bhi hamare hath gaye, chahe wo Greeks ho. Chai wo Elizabethan so and practically all the classics and yes of course all the moderns like Ibsen like Strindberg and especially if we talk about Strindberg he has talked about the human relationships in all of his plays in detail there are many factors that cause the death or loss of relationships truthfulness karuna tolerance ahimsa. Forgiveness, love, brotherhood, equality, liberty, fraternity, sympathy makes a person human. ये सारी चीजें अगर हमारे अंदर हैं, तब हम एक इंसान हैं. And a virtuous man alone can belong to his milieu. Tensions between religions, between religiousness, between secularism also result in the loss of human relationships. Jealousy, hatred, violence, avarice, exploitation, alienation, fear, clash, conflict, anti-people policies of the government all result in loss of human relationships. Poets, novelists, dramatists, why they write? They write to make our world better and to make human relationships better. So the characters of Eugene O'Neill, they try to live as forcefully and vigorously as they can, but they find that they are in chains. They find that they are in trap. They cry for freedom. They want to live. They want to belong. They cannot do so. Why? Because they do not fit in any system of American democracy or capitalism. They oppose all the patterns thrust upon them. They make their own patterns. Why? Because they protest against the society and all the patterns offered to them by the society. They never cease to live. They live in darkness. They live in sufferings and they fail to belong. But it does not mean that they do not want to belong. Eugene O'Neill wants to show that man is at the center of creation and he is one of the highest of all animals. There is nothing beyond man. And the characters are shown developing psychologically. And the great merit of humanism of Eugene O'Neill is that it transcends all the patterns. It cannot be labeled. It is not rationalistic. It is not communistic. It is not democratic. It is not Christian. It is not Hindu. It is not Buddhist or Islamic. Eugene O'Neill's commitment is only to life and his dramas try to answer the great questions of life. Eugene O'Neill's characters miserably fail in human relationships, but they cannot live without it also. And his dramas are essentially tragic in spirit, but the great tragedy lies in the life of in the loss of human relationships. But it does not mean that the dramatist is an enemy of human relationships. The disease is described in detail in order to cure it. And the characters of Eugene O'Neill always look towards human relationships. He has nothing to do with the divine. He is 100% human and right for human beings. He has nothing to do with the Christian humanism. He will not accept the pattern. He observes men clothing together into social masses and suffering unimaginably. The humanism of Eugene O'Neill is very original. You cannot catch the dramatist. He is not adept. He has not adopted any ready-made model. 
and so he is shakespearean in the sense he may rightly be called shakespeare of america as the world is changing eugene o'neill's scholarship too is changing and it must change also because his characters are not human liabilities his characters are not limited in their thoughts feelings and actions eugene o'neill is definitely a major and perhaps the best american dramatist of human relationships his position in american drama of human relationships his position is certainly higher than arthur miller tennessee williams william vogue moody and somewhere i personally feel students that he is ever fresh ever green and his dramas will never never become stale jaisa ki shakespeare ke dramas kabhi stale nahi hote and a study of the characters of the 21st century is essential our world is changing so eugene o'neill ka jo scholarship hai that also should change and the dramatist is not advocating any philosophy which is misanthropic he is a pro changer his characters are full of human quality and they live and die for 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 the human existence for the human relationships and the dramatist observes people people and people he finds that their outer life is unsatisfactory but their inner life is far more chaotic and disintegrated but they live by their faith their faith is not christian or any other faith supplied by the dramatist he does not supply faith to his characters as gb uh, george bernard shaw would do he describes their characters as they are he paints them in their conditions and to read eugene o'neill is to feel the presence of his mysterious characters the characters long for human touch they long for warmth in the human relationships it is not it does not matter whether they succeed or fail but they live and die for the human conditions for the human human feelings for the human bondings they live on earth with other people also they want to belong to others eugene o'neill's prominent play the hairy ape which was published in 1921 is about man's alienation it is about his homelessness his anguish his despair his insignificance his objectification and in this play we find thirst of human relations in other words we can say that eugene o'neill exhales the value of relationships the comradeship of people among the characters yank who is the protagonist explores man's search for himself and dwells on the problems and the nature of being considered but he fails every time in being recognized he needs love from his fellow beings his passengers in the ship and the world outside but to his ill fated destiny matthew arnold ne kahin pe likha hai aapne padha hoga ah let us let us be true to one another कितना सही लिखा है कितना ऐप लिखा है उसने अपने पोएम में आह लव लेट अस बी ट्रू टू वन एन अदर लेट अस बी ट्रू टू ईच अदर क्यों लिखा है और कैसे देखिए डे लाइन यूजिन ओनील के ड्रामाज में कैसे सेट हो रही हैं दिस इज एक्चुअली विच यूजिन ओनील लॉन्ग्स यही लव लेट अस बी ट्रू टू ईच अदर यूजिन ओनील इज लॉन्गिंग फॉर बट कुड नॉट गेट इन दिस सेल्फिश वर्ल्ड एंड थ्रू हिज प्लेज ही शोज मैन battling with harsh environment and with his own inner passion yang's journey from the stock hole to the zoo shows that the human relationships and love do not carry any meaning to this world and the man's alienation is incurable and can belong neither to this world nor to any other people the hairy ape is as i told you few minutes back is eugene o'neill's hairy ape is like ts eliot's wasteland he too is concerned with the loss of identity of the individual in the dehumanized industrial mechanical society marked by the heroism by the erosion of the all the spiritual values and yak 
embarks on a tragic journey where he opens the door of his destruction with his own hands where his self confidence is shattered eugene o'neil himself was so much disillusioned by this world that once he said usne khud kaha hai yank is really yourself and myself yank tum bhi ho yank kahin na kahin hum bhi hain and these observations leave no doubt as to eugene o'neil's intentions about furnishing a profoundly serious comment on human predicament his plays are sometimes closely patterned on his life and he got however really close to an irish stoker by the name driscoll eugene o'neil explained the origin of the hairy ape somewhere in the interview in the american magazine कहीं पे उसने ये भी लिखा है किस प्रकार से उसने हेरी एप लिखा है एंड इन दिस प्ले द मेन कैरेक्टर अ शिप्स स्टोकर सडनली रियलाइज दैट द पीपल ऑन द अपर डेक आर नॉट एट ऑल कॉन्शियस ऑफ हिम दे पास बाय हिम विदाउट वाचिंग हिम विदाउट सीइंग हिम सो उसको गुस्से में या कह लो दुखी में ही ट्राइज टू मेक्स फ्रेंड्स विद एन एप बट ही हिमसेल्फ बिकम्स द एप्स विक्टिम यूजिन ओनील हैज एक्सटेंडेड अ कॉडियल हैंड to humanity's dreams and plays which deal with the problems of human personality the protagonist aspires for human values aspires for a sense of <clears throat> for a sense of <clears throat> loving and caring but he is unable to achieve it in spite of his many hardships the hairy ape was propaganda in the sense that it was a symbol of man who had lost his old harmony with nature the harmony which he used to have as an animal and has not yet acquired in a spiritual way